Hi everyone, if you watch my videos more often than you saw one month ago that I uploaded the video how to monitor your internet connection through the Motics, um, today we're going to install an updated version of this application uh, which is a little bit more robust and also adds more functionality. Uh, don't worry if you already installed the application because we'll also explain how you can remove the application if you already have installed it. So first thing what we need to do is we're going to go to Demotics to prepare Demotics with custom sensors by going to Setup Hardware and we're going to add the dummy type. Just going to call it dummy. Press Add. And we're going to create four uh, new sensors. And you're going to choose the type Custom Sensor. And the first one we're going to call download with the label Mbps, megabits per second. Then second one, we're going to call upload. Also here, megabits per second. Third one, ping. Label milliseconds. And the last one, jitter, also in milliseconds. Now for those who followed my previous video, uh, you can also see already here the difference. We have created four sensors instead of three sensors, uh, like I did in the last video. Now where can we find these sensors? We can find them underneath the tab utility, where we now have four custom sensors. And what we need to do, we need to identify the unique reference number from Domotics for each of these devices, which we can do in two different ways. One, by going to Edit. Then we have the IDX number, that's the unique reference number from Domotics. In this case, number one. Second way to identify these numbers is by going to Setup Devices. And here we have the reference numbers also underneath each other. Um, so starting from one with the first one we created and four with the one we called jitter or should be jitter. So let me just correct that jitter and rename. Okay. So this is the preparational part for the Motics. Uh, next, what we need to do is go to the website speedtest.net. And on this website, we need to go to the Developers tab. And in the Developers tab, we need to go down on the web page with the Install options and click on uh, Debian. And here we have a number of lines which we need to follow. So it's as simple as just selecting, copying, and then going to the command line interface from um, your Raspberry Pi and just execute each of these lines. I'm already going to select the next one. Well, this takes just a few seconds. Okay. That was the second one. Uh, the ones which are hashed out is just informational messages, so you don't have to do anything there. So the next one is the second one which begins with export and then sudo commands now be careful with the one with echo uh, because the line is a little bit longer than it displays on your screen so you need to go to the right make sure that you have the full line selected before uh, pasting it into your command line interface. Now we need to update our Debian uh, operating system repositories. And now it will add the new speed uh, test application. And then we can actually install it. All right, this is also important. If you followed my last video, and you want to update to this new version, you can't have them installed uh, both at the same time. So here, it already mentions, you need to remove first the uh, old one, 
which was the speed test dash CLI, and the new one is just called speed test. So sudo opt get remove speed test dash CLI removes the old one. Okay. Now we're going to install the new application. After the speed test application is installed, uh, we also need another application to be installed, which is the JSON uh, processor. And we're going to do that with the command sudo opt get install jq. Press Y. So the speed test application uses uh, JSON as an output and you need a processor on your Raspberry Pi to process these JSON files. And therefore we're installing this uh, application. Okay. Um, now we can actually run speed test and it will first ask us to I believe accept a license. Yeah. So first time it's a one-off. It will ask you to uh, accept the license. Oh, sorry. Yes. And the uh, the license on this application is just with the purpose that you're not using it, going to use it for any uh, commercial activities. And once we've completed this first step with the license, we need to do another one, which is the GDPR, uh, which is the European law for uh, data protection. We also need to fill out a command there, which is speed test um, dash dash accept dash GDPR. Enter. Okay, then we're already going to pair the next step. The next step is, uh, let me think. We, so we, we installed the custom sensors, we installed the applications, and now we need to set up the communication between sp the speed test application and the Motics. And therefore we need to create a script. So if you already followed my last video, then it's basically the same uh, steps. So if you have the old version installed, you can also just override the script that you uh, created. So that will be the next step. I'm going to do go to the scripts folder. And here I'm going to create a new file, which will be our script that we need to execute later on. And we're going to call it sp2domo.sh. So here, if you already had this script, then you yeah, you can edit it and just remove all the contents and paste in the new script, which I will put into the description of the uh, of the video. Now, if you have pasted in the new script values, then there are two sections that you need to change. One is the uh, the Motix connection, but the host address is your IP address. Make sure that it's in line with your port number from the Motix. Default is 8080. If you, um, if you have a different port number, then change the value there. And then we have the device IDs for the, the Motix sensors. Like I already mentioned, please note them down. And, and it means uh, DL stands for download, UL upload. Then we have ping and we have jitter. So this, these values that I have here are in line with my personal uh, device IDs, um, which change uh, probably changes in your situation. So these values you need to update as well. And then it's a matter of pressing Control X and press Y for saving. And then we're back on the command prompt. Now that we've created the script file, we also need to make sure that it's executable by running the command sudo chmod. And then plus X, X stands for executable. And then you need to have the file name sp2domo.sh. Enter. Okay. 
Um, now we can actually run the script. And running the script will also mean it will start updating the Motix. So let's go back to the Motix just to double check. Refresh. You can see we have zero values everywhere. We're going back to the command line prompt. We're going to start the script and starting a script from the command line prompt is always with dot slash and then sp2 domo dot sh as the script name press enter you will not see anything happening for a number of seconds so it's basically running the same steps we saw earlier um, however then visualize so it's now doing the latency downloads uploads uh, checks and once finished, it will upload these information automatically to the Motix. So we just have to wait a number of seconds. And the next step after uh, this step is we're going to create a schedule for the actual script so that it automatically runs in the background, updating the Motix. Now, we can see we have our values, so that seems to be running uh, perfectly. And then we're going back to the command line prompt. Uh, so the script that we have, we need to make sure that it runs um, periodically. How do we do that? We're going to do that by using the corontab. So sudo corontab minus e, e for editing. Always use the nano, number one. And here we're going down to the bottom of the text and then I'm going to copy paste again something I already prepared. Make sure that you set the right directory. In my case, I've put the sp2domo.sh, our script file, in um, domotics slash scripts. If you put the file somewhere else, then please change that to the appropriate uh, directory. So what does this schedule now actually do? Um, on the 5th, 20th, 35th and 50th minute of each hour, it will update the, the domotics. So that means four times an hour, every 15 minutes, domotics will be updated with this particular schedule. So I'm gonna press Control X, save it, yes, enter. Um, and this basically, completes the tutorial. So this is the new um, application for the speed test. If you have the old one, you can still use it. There's nothing wrong with it. If you want to have a more robust version uh, with an additional uh, functionalities, then you can use this one. Um, yeah, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't uh, already done that. And um, I hope to see you soon. And I soon will create, let me think, I'll create a new video about Philips UE to explain a little bit more about how to uh, add Philips UE to the Motics. And also I think adding Philips UE is not that difficult, uh, but I will also explain how you can create a script that will replicate the statuses uh, from Philips UE to the Motics. I think that that is a step that most people don't know. Uh, thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.